breaking news in 60 seconds. Crews are scrambling to contain a brush fire near Hanson Dam. Plus, the wages of war. The local woman whose family is now in a bomb shelter in 60 seconds. In the design studio at Mathis Brothers, you'll find the latest looks in designer furniture. And when our suppliers offer us special discounts, we pass the savings on to you. Going on right now, save an extra 10% off our everyday low prices on Century and Bernhardt. With sofas starting at just $14.67. Plus, get 12-month no-interest financing on your entire order. It's only for a limited time. Save an extra 10% on Century and Bernhardt in the design studio at Mathis Brothers. This is Eyewitness News with live breaking news. Breaking news near Shadow Hills tonight where more than 100 firefighters are fighting a brush fire right now in the Hanson Dam Recreation Area. And within the last few minutes, crews saying this escalated to a major emergency as they fight this fire from the air and on the ground. I'm Jory Rand. Good evening, I'm Veronica Miracle. It's burned at least a couple acres near North Glen Oaks Boulevard, and so far it has not reached the golf course and no structures are threatened, but crews are keeping a closer eye on this area with the winds, which they say are slowly fanning those flames. We're gonna to continue to monitor this and bring you updates as they come in. Now to the war in Ukraine. Russian airstrikes continue to pummel the nation. Civilians, including children, are still being targeted today. Dozens killed when an airstrike hit a military facility in western Ukraine, closer to Poland, within 15 miles, which is NATO territory. Ukraine's president calling it a dark day, now pleading with NATO leaders for more help. This as negotiations between the two countries are growing more urgent. ABC's Chuck Sievertson is tracking all of the new developments tonight. 